Welcome back Game with King family to another F1 Clash video and in today's video we're going to be talking about some of the problems we're having in the game and we're going to be looking at a response from Hutch uh, about these problems and when we can expect them to be solved. Alright, so before we jump into it, make sure to support a content creator in game. Go to settings, uh, go to community and support a creator and type in Gaming with King to support this channel. Really appreciate you guys for all your support. Alright, so currently after update 29, we've seen uh, the gameplay getting really horrible. We're seeing players getting... Uh, mismatch uh, we're seeing things that are supposed to be fixed like the blue flag situation not being fixed uh, we're seeing we've seen a lot of things we've seen uh, cars not being able to catch up uh, to AIs they're just killing it right now overpowered AIs uh, we've seen a lot of problems in the game that we previously didn't have before update 29 uh, but we we've seen them here so uh we've made our voices heard uh to the developers to hutch to let them know that we're not happy with the current state of the game some people has some teams have decided to protest by changing their club names uh to a specific kind of name uh but yeah and a lot of us have been sending reports uh to hutch in game uh to speak our mind and to let them know we're not happy with the game all right, so uh, Hutch did respond in a message uh, to say that they are aware and they are looking into it. So we're going to be taking a look at that message in this video uh, to see uh, when we can expect these things to be fixed. All right, let's go. So we got this update from Hot Sam over on the F1 Clash Discord. Uh, if you haven't joined already, uh, make sure to join the F1 Clash Discord server in game uh, settings, community, join Discord uh, to join the F1 Clash Discord server. All right, so here is Hot Sam saying, hi players. Here with an update regarding some gameplay changes experienced after the release of update 29. Uh, and he's going to be giving us a list of things down below here. All right, so update 29 includes some gameplay changes that were intended to correct previous report reported issues seen during races. Unfortunately, these gameplay changes resulted in impacts to areas such as overtaking, AI difficulty, and the effectiveness of the power unit as just some of some examples. After carefully considering, uh, the decision has been made to review these changes and address the community complaints in update 31, currently expected late in August. So uh, it's going to be way in August before we uh, see some of these things being changed back uh, or fix uh, in update 31. Uh, there is a update 30, uh, but apparently update 30 has already been uh, basically filled up with stuff that were already uh, set for update 30. Uh, so they have to uh, move some of these fixes to update 31. All right. The contender slash qualifying bug listed in the release of update 29, but still appears after release. Uh, will receive an additional update in update 30 expect expected in a couple of weeks so within a couple of weeks uh we will be getting update 30 and the qualifying bug down in the contenders gp that was supposed to be fixed uh is set to be fixed in update 30 officially uh, i guess so i guess it didn't it, it wasn't fixed in uh update 29 at all all right so we are expecting that to be fixed in update 30 uh, within a couple of weeks All right as reported by a number of players the penalty applied to cars using tire compound that does not match weather condition has not been affected not been effective enough uh, in light of these reports we have decided to investigate and potentially apply an even greater at disadvantage in update 31 yeah, I am. I have been like a major complainer of that 
I have been a major complainer of that specific uh, thing there where uh, when you're on a wet race, uh, cars and dry tires uh, are holding you up when that should not be the case. If, they're, if the weather is down to 26%, if it's up to 26% and the rain is falling, that plume comes up behind your car, you're on the wet tires. The cars on regular tires basically need to move to the side. You should be able to pass them freely without them blocking you up for miles and miles and miles. All right. Before you can barely squeeze past them. It's very unfair. All right. All right. So that's going to be fixed in update 31. So that's going to be a major thing I'm looking out for uh, with update 31. All right. The revision of gameplay changes mentioned above is expected to uh, alleviate the stock up of cars in some tracks corners seen after update 29 as well as slow speeds on the exit of some pit lanes. The team will be monitoring for any instance of this potential continuing so report from players are critical to ensure these issues are resolved after the update release so after update 31 uh we got we all need to look out for these things and if we see them uh we need to report them right away all right it continues by saying reliability was always intended to reduce even during a safety car as was visible by the reducing arrow shown on the meter uh, the fact that the reliability value never reduced was in fact a bug that was resolved in update 29. The reduction of reliability during the safety car is an expected behavior. So apparently from the beginning of the, sa the servicing feature where we saw the reliability uh, normally pause uh, when there is a safety car, apparently it was a bug and it has now been fixed and the reliability going down uh, should have been going down all this time uh, but it's going down now all right so that was a fix of a unexpected an unknown bug really <laughs> yeah so that was a fix of an unknown bug in update 29 man all right let's continue lastly the bug causing the sprint race button to disappear from the home screen is a bug in itself not related to update 29 the team is currently working on this as an urgent matter to resolve all right so but uh we saw we started to see that uh happening after update 29 uh, but they're saying it's not related probably it just broke something else uh and that bug started to act up all right uh but yeah the sprint race bug if you're doing your sprint races on mondays and tuesday and you see the icon disappear uh the sprint race is still there just continue racing uh until you get your reward all right there may be question as to why these updates can't be completed in update 30. This update includes a number of improvements to the technical quality of F1 Clash. Due to this, adding additional gameplay related changes carrying, carries increased risk that we determined uh, were too high following the re results of update 29. All right, so they don't want to pile too much in one update. Uh, and cause major damages to the game all right so lastly uh, we understand the frustration experienced by players after the release of update 29 our team is committed uh, to continuously refining our processes to ensure these to ensure that our future updates align more closely with the expectation of our players we appreciate your patience and support as we strive to, de to deliver a better experience. All right, so that's the message from Hutch. Uh, and those are the emoji from the players on the Discord server. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna, let's give a salute emoji. Uh, so we give them more support, all right? All right, so too much reaction, so we can't add any more reaction, all right? So yeah, that is basically what Hutch has to say and to say that they are currently working on it. So we should uh, see some change, some fixes by the latest update 31 in late August. We're currently in like the ending of July. 
So going down into August, we will be expecting update 31 uh, and we expect update 30 to come with some different quality of life changes uh, in there. All right. So uh, at least Hutch has pointed out to us that they have heard our message and they are working on it. All right. So uh, hopefully within a few uh, weeks, uh, we will see the game back in full swing, back in full action and fix and all the frustration uh, would be gone by then. All right. So that's basically all I had for you guys here today. Uh, let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing. Have you reported some form of bug to Hutch? Uh, let me know down in the comments. Make sure to support a content creator by going into settings, hit community, uh, support a creator and type in gaming with King. Uh, to support this channel really appreciate you guys for all your support make sure you're subscribed for all your latest f1 clash news tips tricks and content and make sure to smash that like button and that's basically going to be it for this one use code word value down below to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video really appreciate you guys who watch full videos for all your support i'll catch you guys in the next one go check out some of our other videos over here or our playlists over here Shout out Christopher Graves, Alfredo Jr., Stelios, and Touch My Dilly. And they say if they say if we'll only avoid, avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to